Robin's Winter Song by Suzanne Barton It was a beautiful autumn day. Robin sang from his branch as it swayed in the breeze. He saw the leaves swirling in the wind, twisting and turning, rising and falling. Something was different, but what was it? The squirrels were scurrying. The mice were scampering. And high up in the branches, the finches were fluttering. Are you going somewhere? Robin asked the finches. We're getting ready to fly south, they chirped. Winter is coming. Who is Winter? asked Robin. And why don't you want to meet him? But the finches didn't hear him. And in a flurry, they were gone. Down on the ground, Squirrel was busy digging. What are you doing? Robin asked. I'm burying these nuts before winter comes, said Squirrel. Winter sounds very greedy, thought Robin, and he flew off to the big oak tree. I don't like the sound of winter at all, Robin told Owl. Do you think I should fly south like the finches? Oh no, said Owl, it's far too far for you. You must stay here, but be sure to keep warm and snug or you'll be cold when winter comes. Winter is scary, greedy and cold. Robin was frightened. He looked on sadly as the rest of his friends flew south, far, far away from winter. How he wished he could go with them. I hope they come back soon, he sighed. Later in the woods, Robin spotted Bear. He glided down, happy to meet a friend. Where are you going? he asked. I'm off to find a cosy cave to sleep in until winter is gone, said Bear. Even Bear was hiding. Robin remembered what Owl had told him. He needed to find somewhere warm and snug, somewhere far away from winter. Can I come with you? he asked Bear. Robin and Bear settled comfortably in Bear's cave. How many sleeps until winter goes away? asked Robin. Just one, said Bear. Hmm, that's not so bad, thought Robin. He snuggled close to Bear and squeezed his eyes shut. Before long, he heard Bear's snores, soft and gentle, and soon Robin fell fast asleep too. When Robin stirred, he felt a chill in the air. It was very cold. Perhaps winter's here, he thought. Robin flew to the opening of the cave and, as he peeped out, he gasped. The whole wood had turned white. Everything sparkled and shimmered and white flakes were falling from the sky. How beautiful, thought Robin, as he tiptoed out into the fresh, crunchy white. As Robin hopped and slipped happily through the woods, he came across all sorts of animals. Why is everything so white? he asked Mouse. It's snow, of course, squeaked Mouse. Look around you, Robin. It's winter. This is winter, gasped Robin. He couldn't believe it. Winter wasn't scary at all. In fact, it was wonderful. Forest was transformed and Robin loved exploring it with his new friends. He chased snowflakes with Owl. He helped Squirrel find his acorns. And at night, everyone snuggled together to keep warm. Robin was having such wonderful wintry fun that time passed quickly. And one day he noticed shoots sprouting out of the ground. Something was different, but what was it? Then he realised, the snow is melting, he said. That means it's time to wake Bear, said Squirrel. Bear yawned, stretched and rubbed his eyes. Oh, winter's almost gone, he sighed happily. But I love winter, said Robin sadly. Why does it have to go? Because spring is coming, smiled Bear. Robin didn't know what spring was, but this time he was sure that he wanted to find out. I can't wait to meet spring, he sang joyfully. <laughs>